Hey everyone, Yan Zhao back again. Finally, a not in the car comic review. Today we're going to talk about Black Hops Omnibus Volume 1 by Tim Lim, Mark Pellegrini. It's got consulting by Doug Ernst and Richard C. Meyer, otherwise known as your boy Zach. Now, Black Hops is quite an interesting story. It's the story of a murder rabbit. Yes, a rabbit who murders other people for God and country. Mostly for country. So, it's very interesting. They call the program USAGI. Usagi is actually Japanese for rabbit, so... Good work on the pun, Tim Lim. Or I assume it's Tim. <clears throat> so we start off with the story of how did this rabbit come to be? Uh, it is almost a Hulk-like story, where he's a rabbit who lived with a little girl in Japan. She happened to be in the bombing in Japan, and she covers him, saves him. She's just a big splotch. And he keeps her ribbon because he loves her. He's saved by a GI. This atomic blast gives him basically superpowers gives him super strength it gives him i think they say it's subhuman intelligence he's more intelligent than most other animals maybe monkey-ish i'm not sure if they're implying that your average infantryman has that same level of intelligence but we'll see and he has some superpowers he can change his coat to match his environment, it's supposed to be like an adaptive camouflage type thing, but he can put American, you know, fighter plane symbols on there. He works through Vietnam. We can see Reagan here. And one day Bruce Willis comes and tells him, hey man, you're still needed. North Korea has the bomb and they're gonna kill Americans. So it's a story about a USA GI. The whole program is called the Black Hops uh, instead of Black Ops. Lots of very punny things. Uh, so he's dropped into North Korea. He fights a bunch of animals that are his size, mostly by kicking them, but he does carry around a knife, which he uses to slash people and creatures' throats. He also soccer kicks grenades and kills people. Uh, he comes on an evil, like, half-cat, half-snake, which they say came from a meteor that crashed in Russia, although there were reports of it in centuries past. And that's basically the end of issue one. Man, what a great issue. So first of all, let's just talk about the artwork. Art is all, I believe it's all done by Tim Lim. Maybe not the colors, I'm not quite sure about that. In my review of Doug Ernst's book, although I thought the art was nice, it had this cartoony style like you see here, which I kind of thought was a little bit off for a book that was essentially like a horror piece about a priest who then goes finding uh, demons and doing exorcisms and trying to defeat this demon Blackfire. It just seemed a little out of place to me. This is exactly where it shines. It's not quite... I don't know, this is... Um, it's not quite a manga, but it's definitely manga-inspired, manga-influenced, you could say. In some ways, previous American books that look like that, maybe Ben Dunn's Ninja High School. But Tim Lim is probably most famous, or, well, I shouldn't say most famous now. I would say maybe he came to notoriety when he uh, debuted a bunch of Donald Trump 
themed comic books. Uh, like, I can't quite remember the name, I'm sorry. Uh, one About the Wall, uh, he did Space Force, I know. Uh, I haven't had a chance to read any of those, but he also did this series. Now, if you follow his Twitter feed, that dude loves rabbits. So he turned, I guess, his pet rabbits into a giant badass. Now, I have to say, I'm not altogether familiar with Mark Pellegrini's work. Sorry, Mark. Uh, but, man, the rating in here is good. That's one of the things that I'm a little bit confused about is how much of this was Tim Lim and how much was Mark. So we end up with this one scene here. <clears throat> They're releasing a bunch of tigers to go find the rabbit, okay? And so he's like, he's got this white tiger that he raised from a girl and, uh, you know, he's given up his rations. I love how they portray the North Koreans as like poor and they're like, yeah, this sucks, we're all hungry. Uh, that seems to be what a lot of North Koreans really think if you listen to defectors. But I love it that he has such a close relationship with this tiger. So what happens a few pages later, uh, Black Ops kills all these animals. Um, he, he defeats the tiger. Oh, here we go. Oh no, the tiger's blown up, my mistake. So he's blown up and then this guy's blown up and then the tiger basically says, which by the way, I love how the animals have like images and the word balloons instead of writing text. It really makes it seem a lot better. So you got the rabbit, you know, are you okay? And he's like, oh, I'm a human. And thinking about all the times a human fed him and raised him. And the rabbit drags the body of uh, his human over there so they can go into the sweet night together. I mean, damn, why does a book about murder rabbit give you the feels? Anybody who's ever owned a pet has to choke up a little at this. Uh, so we have a lot more adventure that goes through. And that's book one. I think this is the compilation of three comics, or maybe four. I'm not entirely sure. Now, another thing is, how the heck does Tim Lim have time to put all this stuff out? What I know of him is, he's got, he either owns a medical practice or works at one. He's got a family. And he puts out like three or four books a year. Man, I can't even write one in a year. What the hell is he, is he doing? Is he like on meth or something? And it all looks great. Uh, so we continue on. There's an organization. Uh, I love that uh, the Black Hops organization gets more gets more members. It gets uh, this turtle, and then there is uh, a ferret otter. The turtle is just a dumb turtle, but it's remote controlled with GPS, and it has bombs, uh, missiles that come out of it. Then you get the otter here. Uh, it has a very terrible temper, although it is smart. Now, one of the things that I like the most, don't want to show the whole book, but uh, if I could find it, they eventually get a canine. Here we go. So <laughs> I love that the otter starts using the turtle as a shield. I guess they painted his back because it's red there, like kind of like Captain America shield. And let me see. The, ah, and then I don't know. Tim Lim must like kung fu movies because putting this thing on a chain reminds me of some like, you know, Thirty Six Chambers of Shaolin. Uh, but it's a fantastic book. The story is actually good. There's a lot of action for a story about animals that kick the crap out of bad people. Uh, it almost reminds me of the early run of G.I. Joe, for anybody who's old enough to remember those 80s comics. 
They're sort of alone. A lot of people in the government don't know about them. Uh, but we end up... Some people died. They've got to uh, track down. There's another group that's going to make these animals, like hybrid chimera animals. Uh, and at the end, we have an introduction to Common America, who is Tim Lim's other big success. I think right now, Common America 2 is still available on Indiegogo. I think uh, this might be done for now, but maybe you can still contact him for some copies. Check on Indiegogo uh, for contact information. If not, uh, he is Donald J. Thump on Twitter. Black Hops, fantastic. Uh, it's book like this that kind of make me wonder about the future of the comic industry. In the past, we had everything sort of cut away. There used to be romance, there used to be western, there used to be sci-fi and horror and fantasy, and then it all became cape and cowl superheroes. This sort of takes it back, and a lot of the independent books take it back. If you have more books that are quality like this, I can see American comics sort of opening up again, like a lot of manga is. Manga, there are plenty of issues for whatever your subgenre of choice is. We need more books like this. So, okay, Black Ops, uh, if, there are, if there are still active Indiegogo links for this or for Camden America, I will link them down below. Check it out. I think you won't be disappointed. What do you guys think about Black Ops and Murder Rabbits? Leave your comment down below, uh, thumbs up to the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys soon for another review.